Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Voln Hub um, penetration testing, pen testing. Um, this Voln Hub machine is called Raven 1, and I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to try and do everything quickly as possible. So just make sure you are following along. Um, I'm going to be doing some tutorials on stuff like this and sooner or later. But anyway, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is identify the device on the network man i always do this i always get my password like wrong it's so annoying okay there we go okay so as you can see that is just scanning for the device on the network um it's just locally scanning every device on the network here we go okay so this is it here just gonna copy that and the first thing i'm gonna do is just do mmap Tag A, tag, oh yeah, they've basically done for me. Um, do nmap info. Um, yeah, okay, so SS, nmap, yeah, okay. I think that should be fine for now. Yeah, that's, that should be fine for now. So I'm just going to do nmap, get information about the device, um, get information about the uh, Raven 1 server and actually start doing some pen testing okay as you can, as you can see um so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to type in clear i'm just doing cat um mmap info it's a lot easier so as you can see guys we've got okay so we've got hasty stage it's open we've got port 80 which is open as well so i'm actually just going to head over there um to check what that is all about it's running apache 2.4.10 and it's debian um okay cool i'm just going to check that out I'm just going to just open up a new tab here. Okay, as you can see, guys, I'm on the website now. Okay, so we've got Raven Security, the professionals. Okay, cool. Does this work? No, okay, that doesn't. Uh, so, okay, yeah, so as you can see, I've just identified that there's, gonna, there's different directories on this page. Okay, so let's actually have a look here um, if we can actually find anything on the page. Uh, let's see if it's responsive. Obviously, I'm a web developer. I like to see if this website's responsive. Okay, that's cool. It is. And yeah, not much. Uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do is, since there's different directories, I'm actually just going to scan um, if there is any. Um, I'm basically doing here, so I'm doing derb, right? Directory buster with the uh, supplying the IP address or the HTTP with the IP address because it's the website and no recursive um, to scan directories only. Now, if I just enter this into my password without actually failing, Oh my word, as soon as I say that. Okay, there we go. And as you can see, we are scanning for the directories. So we're just going to identify more about it. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to drag this over here. Just make this a little bit smaller on this side. Okay, so we've got directory. Uh, so we've got some directories here, and we got WordPress. We've got a WordPress build here, so we actually want to identify what type of version of WordPress this is running, as well as identify if there's any users on this WordPress platform. Um, we got some other stuff here as well. Uh, JS might have a look at that. Um, I actually might have a look at that. I like to exploit stuff like that. Oh wow! Okay, um, there's a lot of stuff here. Main, JS. Okay, it's jQuery. No one, uh, I mean, I don't, I haven't used jQuery in a while, and this person, well, is using var. I don't normally use var. I use const to declare variables. Um, var is a pretty old declaring variables. Uh, no one really, I don't really do that. Um, parallax effect, not much here. Okay, I just want to have a look at, so we got about.html. Okay, so um, actually, let's just go check out the index first. I want to actually, or just do control U. Um, Okay, so we're on the source code. I'm just going to read it quickly. Okay, so we got different ones here. So I'm going to check out the about later. I'm going to check out the about. I'm going to check out the service team and WordPress and contact PHP. Just have a look at those source codes. Okay, so we've got image, JPEG. Okay, nothing much here. Okay, uh, no, nothing much here. Okay, let's just check out the service. H oh, no, the about HTML, sorry. Telephone, number, okay, yep. Okay, nothing much here either. 
Copyright, script tag, new date, give for you. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, what else? I guess this is this the service HTML. We're just having a look at this. A lot of divisions and all of them because they had split sections. Um, oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, cool. We got our first flag. Basic reconnaissance. Okay, so we're just going to copy that. I'm just going to do on the desktop. Um, on the desktop, I'm just going to do uh, nano uh, flags. Okay, so that's flag one. And okay, so we got that. Just check out the uh, third one or the fourth one. Okay, so there's not much here. Not much here, not much here. Okay, uh, okay, so it's just a WordPress build now. We can actually identify what this is using. Uh, okay, so so Raven security, blah, blah. Got we got Raven uh, local here, uh, index PHP comments and stuff like that. Comments, okay. I'm gonna actually check these out. Uh, anything here? No, okay. Um, WordPress JSON. Okay, nothing much in there. Uh, interesting. There's a lot of stuff here. It's, it's really good. Um, okay. Right. And that is a lot of stuff there, too. Okay, it seems like we can't actually access that. Um, okay. Uh, not much here either. Okay, so what's in this? Oh yeah, so no, we have a, we had a look at that. Okay, so we got our first flag just doing some basic reconnaissance on the website. Um, so I want to actually identify this WordPress build. So if I actually open that link, um, oh wow, what what is this? Okay, that's okay. There's nothing on here then. Okay, I want to check out what's in this directory. So to identify what is in this directory. Just see what's in that directory and i want to actually identify i know there's a lot of terminals open i'm sorry i'll just minimize a few of them i'll just leave that running i'll just put this over here um so let's actually have a look so oh that's done okay so we've got wp includes content admin so we want to check that out as well oh it seems like we can't actually log in interesting um uh okay Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna actually use WP Scan, which is a WordPress scanner, to identify what build and what users are on this platform. So I'm gonna do sudo uh, WP Scan the URL, um, which is uh, this, and I think, well, actually, uh, I haven't done this in a while, so I just wanna have a look at it. I wanna have a look at the WordPress Scan. Uh, what the hell? I just want to have a look at it quickly. I'm going to use verbose because that will be good. Um, not much there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's that's what I need to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is is do uh, so. I'll just do wp scan. I'll do URL. Obviously, I'm going to do sudo as well. wp scan uh, URL. Uh, that's the URL. I want to. Um, I guess do verbose. Um, uh, actually, I want to do uh, enumerate and then users to identify what users are on the platform. And yeah, so let's get started here. Okay, as you can see, we have a uh, two users here, Stephen and Michael, on the platform. And uh, yeah, okay, so. It's interesting. Uh, so it says the WordPress version is 4.8.17. Uh, okay. Um, that's interesting. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, is that everything? Yep, that's everything. So that is interesting. Um, if we go back to our... Wh which one was it? Was this one? Yep. Okay, so we back to our uh, MAP scan here. Let me just minimize that as well. Um, so if we have a look at here, we have the... So we got SSH, we got SSH. So I'm gonna try and SSH into um, Stevens um, to see if they have a blank password, of course, um, at 192.168.1.54. Yep, 
Yes, I do. Okay, I just want to try and fingerprint and just do enter permission denied. Okay. So it seems like they are denied. I'm going to try Michael this time. Uh, see if I can hit this agent to his box. Uh, yep, yeah, okay. No, okay, okay, yeah, no. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is actually use Hydra to actually brute force their accounts um, for me to actually gain access to the WordPress. Uh, so I would basically need to brute force their, into their accounts. Um, uh, for this, I might actually use Hydra. Um, so remember, it's actually SSH. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm just going to bring this over here. I'm going to try and use Hydra for this. Um, I just made that a bit bigger so you guys can actually see um, what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm going to do Hydra uh, or sudo actually. I'm, I'm just going to go and sudo. So I'll use it. So I do Hydra. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's actually do this. Okay, so we've got Hester Sage uh, 192.168.1.54 and basically tac L meaning it's a single user, so it's uh, Michael and then the password list which is this, which is actually um, in my home directory. If I go here, I'm going to prayer, obviously it's somewhere uh, here it is, password.txt and that contains a lot of passwords. That contains up to 10 million um, passwords in that file. Um, actually, no, I think this one just um, has uh, 10,000 passwords in it. Um, this is just a, a word list, so I'm basically doing a dictionary attack to identify um, if they have a weak pass password or not. Um, so let's do, no, let's do Steven first. Let's see if he has anything. Okay, so we're just attempting to try and brute force into his account um, if he has a weak password or not. Okay, it seems like he doesn't have anything right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Michael this time. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to do Michael. I'll try Michael this time. Um, and I'm also doing a verbose and the option of T4. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. Okay, as you can see, we cracked his password. The password was just Michael. So what we can actually do now is, um, since we successfully brute forced into his account, we can actually uh, copy his password. Um, I'm just actually just uh, do clear. I'm gonna try and hit this edge into Michael's box now and just put in the password, just paste. And there we go. Now we have um, access to Michael's um, server, Michael at Raven, um, Michael's box. Okay, so now if we do LS, okay, there's nothing there. Um, uh, okay, well there is stuff there. Uh, let's go back a directory and see what we got. Oh, we got Steven as well. Lol, that's kind of funny. Um, wait, we can just... Okay, well, I'll check out Steven's later. Um, but let's just have a look what we got here. Uh, okay, so we don't really have that much. Okay, so let's actually go to the Apache server. So where the server is actually running and hosting all the files. Um, so normally there would be stuff in the dub. Oh, actually, no. Let's check the bar. Okay, let's check the www. Oh, there we go. Yep, cat flag two dot text. And here we go. We got the second flag. Wow. Okay, that's cool. So I'm gonna copy this. I'm just gonna open up the flag fold uh, the text document, and we got flag two. Okay, now. So since we got that, let's go into the HTML and let's see what we got here. So we got, oh, here we go. So we got WordPress. I'll check that out. Uh, we've got service HTML, we've got contact, PHP, all that stuff. Um, so yeah, let's check out the WordPress. Um, have a look here. Okay, so I'm just gonna, here we go. Okay, as you can see, we've got information here. So we've got WP content. Um, let's actually see if they can do read and write. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, um, I think it's alias l maybe or no alias tech l yeah there we go um so okay so this one here we can read and write oh that's the configuration file too that's good okay so what we can do now is actually just um do nano and then into this file here and oh there we go as you can see we've got the define the wordpress database and the database user and password so we can actually copy this and so what I might do is just bring this over here and go onto my desktop uh, and create a folder called config and just paste all that stuff in so I can actually have a look at that. So 
Um, yeah, so as you can see, well, actually, <coughs> sorry, uh, clear. There we go. A bit more config. Okay, as you can see, we just have a look at that. Uh, so then it's called Raven Security. I can actually change this database password, but for the sake of it, I just want to like that because it looks cool. And <coughs> this is kind of the type of passwords that people actually need. You need like special characters and stuff like that. It just makes it more secure and difficult to brute force. Um, no one really does brute force besides dictionary attacks. <coughs> okay, so since we got that, um, what else do we have here? We've got login, PHP. Okay, um, so as we identified earlier, he's got uh so if we look at the in-map scan just minimize that <coughs> so as you can see we've got ssh okay we've got the apache server we've got our rpc bind as well um it's running on lurx as well obviously debian it's a debian server uh so we just Here's the section of this box. So that means we can actually access the database. Um, we can actually access the database from there. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and access the database uh, of the server uh, itself, the WordPress server. Um, so I'm just gonna minimize that and open the correct one here. Um, so they would use something like MySQL. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm actually gonna take a look at. Um, so I'm just gonna copy that. So the user is root and the password's Raven Security, so I'm just gonna minimize that, bring it over here, um, so you guys can have a bit of view. I'm gonna do my SQL, uh, tag U for user, and then the password. Uh, I'm just gonna press enter, and then just gonna paste the password in here, and boom, okay, now we into the server, the MySQL. So from here, can I do clear? Okay, no, that didn't really work. Um, so I'm gonna do, Databases. I'm going to show the databases. So we've got information schema, we've got MySQL, performance schema, and WordPress. So that's what we want to use. So I'm going to type in use WordPress. I'm going to say show tables. Okay, so as you can see, the database tables. Um, let's have a look here. Uh, we got, okay, comment, metadata, comments, links, options, post media, posts. So normally in posts, they would have like, I don't know, stuffs of usernames and password maybe because that's where posts go and as well. Um, term relations of user metadata and just users. I wanna actually check out the, I think I'm gonna check out the posts first. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I think it's use or show, <coughs> show po posts maybe. Is it that? Or no, it's not. It's, uh, oh no, 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 sorry. We need to select it. We need to select it. Um, so we need to select it from W posts and tack th uh, that as well. Oh, there we go. We got flag three. Why don't you look at that? Why don't you look at that? Look, got flag three and flag four. We got the four flags, dude. That's insane. So we got four flags. That's awesome. Dude, how many flags are there? I don't know. Okay, so we got flag three. Just, yeah. Dude, that's epic. We have flag three. Dude, that's actually cool. All right, so we got flag three and flag four. I think there's five flags in total. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but that's epic. Okay, we got four flags. Okay, that's that's awesome. Okay, now if we go back down, now if we go, if we just exit it quickly and just try and get back into it and just do paste. Oh, sorry. Um, if we just go back to the config and just copy the well password here, uh, it's gonna do copy and actually just gain access again. Okay, as you can see, if I do show, uh, no, actually, I don't need to do that. Um, use WordPress and then show database is, oh no, sorry, use WordPress, show tables. I need to show the tables so I can select them. Um, okay, so select, yeah, universal selector basically, or asterisk, and then from uh, WP users. Let's check that out. 
Uh, wait, did I check out this? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, I, oh, look at that. Um, oh, that's that's cool. Okay, look, we got the hash of Michael's password. We already know what it is, but the hash of Steven's because we can log into Steven's account and it took forever to brute force. So I'm going to copy that. I'm actually just going to go identify what type of hash this is. So I'm going to search up a hash analyzer. I'm just going to search up any hash or analyzer to analyze this hash um, to identify what type of hash this is. So I can do hash cap and actually crack this hash. Um, so it says it's possible algorithms. It could be an MD5 and it's WordPress. So yeah, it could be an MD5. So what I'm going to do from there is so um, actually open up a terminal here. And what I'm going to do is I'll do nano hash text paste in the hash save and so what I might do now is actually use hashcat to actually crack the password for this um, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to actually fully do that but it might take some time so um, yeah I'm going to get started doing that okay so from here I'm going to do sudo hashcat and then just do that um, it's basically what I'm doing here I'm specifying um, the hashcat and the type of mode and the attack which is a single attack and this is an md5 hash okay so i'm using the hash.txt file which is on my desktop and using the password list that contains the 10,000 passwords in it to crack this password okay so i'm going to go ahead and just press enter and type in my password and crack this password uh, crack this uh, password this hash oh there we go okay so we have successfully cracked the password um if we go down here uh it said okay so it says it here it says it's pink 84 um so the password is pink 84 we've successfully cracked this hash so i'm just so it's pink 84 so i'm just going to copy this and i'm just typing clear and so from there that means i can do hss and then uh steven at 192.168.154 just let it do its thing well I might do sudo actually I'm going to do sudo for this there we go I paste that in and as you can see I'm in if I do ls or I do okay so what I might do here is just get into the uh, Stevens uh, user directory so I'm going to do bin bash and as you can see I'm in his directory now if I do ls oh well there's not going to be anything there but um, attack A, if I go back a directory, as you can see, we are in this directory. So, you know, beforehand, I could have just gone into Steven's directory here and actually had a locator, but as you can see, if I go back, uh, or no, if I go to the slash var slash w -E -H -H -M -L, uh, as you can see, you know, it's the same place. Um, but yeah, uh, so we got flag two already. Um, I want to actually spawn a shell on the server direct directly. Um, so I want to figure out what type of Python version he's using. Um, okay, so, or no, or no, not type of Python version. I just want to see where the Python is located. Okay, so it's this here. So what I might do now is do um, sudo. See, so yeah, if I, wait, can I do sudo soon? And then enter his uh, password. Oh, what? What is this password? Uh, it's pink 84 yeah pink 84 oh sorry user steven is not allowed to execute bin su as root okay so that's what i want to get into i want to gain access to root because the flag could be there um so i can't access root uh so no the reason why i want to access root and to spawn a shell so i, I can search for, for further reconnaissance um so let me try and do so if i do sudo attack l again as you can see it says that so i'm going to do sudo python Okay, I'm gonna do oh, I'm gonna do import OS, and then OS dot uh, system uh, slash bin slash bash, and as you can see now we uh, have root access as Raven. Okay, so I'm not quite sure of what we actually do here. Um, if I do ls, you don't see anything here. If I do go home, and I go, uh, I don't know. There's nothing here. Um, no, what if I just, what if I import, sorry, what if I just do os.system again and do uh, slash bin 
bash. Yeah, this, uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not quite certain of what to do here. Um, uh, what is the mount that leads to it? I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm in the root, right? Uh, oh, there we go. Cat flag four dot text. But I already got the full flag. I think. Yeah, I already, I already got the full flag. Let me see if I go to hash or text. Or well, not hash, sorry. If I go to flags. Yeah, see, so I already got the full flash. Um, hash. Uh, flag, sorry. See, so I already got the fourth flag. Um, uh, but yeah, that, that was cool. Um, is that it? Yeah, so congratulations on successfully rooting Raven. This is uh, my first boot to review. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I did. Um, Thank you for that. Uh, hit me up on Twitter and let me know what you thought. All right. Well, that was a brilliant Raven um, one box to attack. I really think that was a cool box to actually pen test. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I successfully hacked into this box and got all the flags. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next pen testing video.